Hello, I'm Michael Thompson. And I'm Emmy Kabansky. You're about to meet an inspiring Perth family who are battling the nightmare of cancer on not one, but two fronts. Their story is a heartbreaking one. But tonight, Matt and Kim and a whole community will shed new light into their lives. Perth's renovating angels. We are going to completely renovate your entire house inside and out. And stars from across Australia. Because it's all about to change. Will join forces with a massive team of West Aussie volunteers for this truly amazing family. And when their masterpiece is revealed, emotion will overflow as never before. Tonight, on Perth's own, Matt and Kim to the rescue. The Hoi Poi family have spent the last decade building a life together in the suburbs of Perth. But their story began over 15 years ago in Albury, Wodonga. Ryan and Sally met when they were very young and Ryan was in the army. They were married at 18 and 19 years of age and went on to have four beautiful daughters, Zoe, Brianna, Lacey and Imogen. They were living in Sydney at the time Zoe came along. They moved to Darwin and then they decided that they were going to move over to Perth with Ryan's family. Their lives revolve around softball and netball. They've always been the type of people that fill their life with sports and family and friends and having people around them. Then in 2010, Sally received the shocking news that her father was suffering from a brain tumour. And within a week, another diagnosis that was to devastate this beautiful young family. Sally found a lump in her breast and turns out that she had stage three breast cancer. Couldn't believe that something like this would happen to a 29 year old mother with four children. Sally had to have a double mastectomy and went through chemo, radio, lost her hair. Throughout the whole thing, she was really positive. She had to cope. She had the girls and they were young. I think Zoe and Brianna were, were eight and nine years old and she didn't have a choice, but was it hard? It was really hard for them. I think she just believed that she was gonna make it. And that was the only thing that kept her going. She was going to be there for her girls because they meant so much to her that she knew she had to be strong. After Sally's chemo and radiotherapy, she was given the all clear and was in remission and life for the Hoi Poi's went back to normal. And that went on for just over 12 months and then we got the phone call to say that they had taken a scan that day and she now had bone cancer. So she was stage four breast cancer. Ryan's strong and Sally's strong, but how much can they really take? Ever positive, always selfless, the Hoi Poys continued to live life as they always had. But as they prepared for Christmas in 2015, 14-year-old Zoe suddenly fell ill. Zoe had a few pains in her stomach and suffered a little bit of bleeding, which prompted Ryan and Sally to take her straight to hospital. And they found a very large tumour. They did exploratory surgery just to see where the tumours were and to what extent it was. It, it was bad. Zoe has um, stage four bowel cancer that spread to her ovaries, it spread to her colon, and it spread to the fluid surrounding her colon. We're just devastated, like, Sally and Ryan were able to deal with what they needed to do to get through, but for it to come to Zoe as well is just unthinkable. I don't think I've ever cried so much as I did. <laughs> when Ryan told me. It's hard enough to get a child that's sick, but it's not supposed to happen to your grandkids. Every now and then a story comes along that just hits us like a ton of bricks and 
and that's the story of the Hoi Poys. It's just a tragic, tragic story that Matt and I just couldn't say no to. The house was built in the late 70s and like many of the houses in this suburb, it has lots of lovely retro features from that era. Their bathrooms are original. Their kitchen is kind of falling apart. There's lots of repairs to be done to it. The ceiling's sagging in the living space, so that needs to be done. And they're things they keep meaning to get to, but with all of the focus on the health concerns that they've got and going to hospital and appointments, there's just no time. Matt and Kim have set themselves a massive task, converting a dark, dated 70s property into a stunning state-of-the-art home in just four days. Now for the first time, the family's about to be let in on the secret. This family's two favourite sports are softball and netball. They spend so much time and devote all of their weekends helping out down at their community club. And their favourite netball team is the West Coast Fever, who have been amazing in setting up a special VIP day for the family. But what they don't know is that Kim and I are going to be there also to deliver a little surprise. The Hope Boys are inside, meeting their favourite netballers right now. For Sally and the four girls, it is a dream come true. But in just a moment, we're going to hand deliver an even bigger surprise. OK, Tommy. And in Lincoln, we have Rafi! Just one last photo with the family. How are you going, oh. guys? Hello, Tom. I'm Michael Thompson. <laughs> this is Emmy Kabansky, and we're from Channel 9 News. Well, it looks like you have had an amazing tour here this morning, but we've actually invited a very special friend of ours all the way over from Sydney who's travelled over here to meet you. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? <laughs> so nice to see you all. Um, Sally, we've heard a lot about the incredibly tough battle that you've had on your hands for the last five years, all the while bringing up this beautiful family along with Ryan um, and giving everything that you possibly can to the community around you. And Zoe, we've, we've heard about your recent diagnosis um, and how hard things have been for you lately. How are you doing? Better each day. Yeah? I'm sure Mum makes a big difference and Dad. Yeah. And your sisters. Yeah? Big support crew. Yeah. Well, we figure it's about time you guys had a bit of good news in your life. So I want to introduce you right now to Matt and Kim from The Block. Hey. <laughs> Look, so many of your family and friends have contacted us to see if we could help you out in some way, and we couldn't imagine a more deserving family. So, starting as tomorrow morning, we are going to completely renovate your entire house, inside and out. You guys are all getting brand new rooms, brand new furniture, new appliances, and we've got a couple of other surprises we can't tell you about just yet. So, how are you feeling? <laughs> <laughs> Well, we've got one last surprise for you because you're probably wondering how this has all come about. It's because you've got a lot of family and friends who absolutely love you and they all nominated you in huge numbers. So we've got them here as well. Come on in, guys. <laughs> The most important part of all of this is that you enjoy the process <laughs> and stop me crying. <laughs> it's been an emotionally charged morning for the Hoi Poys, but now it's time to say goodbye to their home before renovations begin. Let's go to Kingsley. Just like fire, turning up the way. Are you all excited about getting back to the house? Because you're going to see the house for the last time the way that you know it. It's scary. Yeah. yeah so, it's so weird. Okay, guys, oh. we're home. So take one last look at how the house looks now, oh because it's all about to change. So that was a bit of 
bit of a crazy morning. Were you expecting that at all? Unbelievable. Just Before the hoi poys head to their hotel, Matt and Kim get a feel for the way the family would like their home improved. So is there anything in here that you'd like to change at the moment? I hate the red laminate yeah, top. It's, it's just always, yeah, been... It's pretty special. <laughs> <laughs> this is the master bedroom. This is your other hiding space from the from the kids, right? Yeah. Have you got anything you want us to do? Anything will be better. Anything will <laughs> be better. Anything will be great. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this is a pretty special room. <laughs> Been here for a while. Like we want to give you the coolest teenage room we can. Are there any colours you want to change in your room? Make it a bit more mature, a bit more a bit more girly. <laughs> I like pink. Yeah, you like pink. Yeah. Brianna, we've almost got you guys ready to go to the hotel. Is there anything else I need to take care of? Um, not really. Just the ducks, chickens and our dog Layla. Did you say chickens? I have a really, really bad history with chickens. <laughs> oh, this is much harder than I thought it was going to be. I'll tell you what, though, I'm going to have to get the professionals in for this one. <laughs> Alright guys, here they are, let's give it a crack. There we go. There you go, Chuck. High fives. Enjoy. Have a great time, girls. So if you See you, babe. See you, babe. Welcome to Fraser Suites. Hi, Hi how you. are you? Nice to meet Tony. you. Hello, welcome to Fraser Suites. Thank you. Let's go and check out the room. So excited? Yes. Very, Very excited. Yay, we're here! <laughs> Alrighty. <sighs> Girls, Bree and Zoe, this is your teenage retreat for the next week. What do you think? <laughs> It's really nice. Well, you got your awesome. own bathroom, own TV, own beds. <laughs> Look at that view. It's pretty oh, amazing. It's amazing. Oh. Imi and Lacey, oh, this is your space. Oh, oh. Couch, bed, oh, yeah. TV, oh, kitchen. Nice. Which bed Look at the you balcony want, as well. You get Which your bed? own balcony. Oh, I'm so glad that we chose this family. They so need this experience together and they're so, so grateful. All right, guys, I really want you to have a great week. Relax, chill out, have a good time. And if there's any problems, there's Matt's number. Thank you. <laughs> Probably not me. <laughs> See you, guys. See ya. See ya. As the Hoi Poi family settle into their hotel, Allied Pickfords have been busily packing the house, ready for storage. OK, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a brand new entry where the lounge room is. Um, currently it's a 70s house, so we've got lounge, dining, kitchen, lounge. What we want to do is we want to smash all of these walls down here. So wherever I'm marking your wall, it's going to get knocked down to the ground and you're going to be able to see from the entry right through to the back of the house. We're also going to have some Sky on Axon panelling over here. There's going to be a TV on the wall, fireplace underneath, and it's going to travel all the way through. This wall's going to go and it's going to become a nice study nook for the kids in this space here. So what we're going to do is we're going to rip all of these walls down, the fridge, the oven, it's all going. Over this side is going to be the new kitchen. There's going to be beautiful cabinetry up above. There's going to be a brand new oven, new built-in microwave. We're going to have a beautiful marble island bench in the middle with skylights above. This is the old entry. It's a bit of a space waster. So what we've decided to do is put a stud wall across here, knock all these walls out, and we're actually going to turn it into a pretty decent sized walk-in robe for Sally and Ryan. Where there's a doorway here, we're going to fill that in and we're going to create a new sliding door entrance into the master bedroom right here. Their master bedroom is going to have some beautiful grass cloth wallpaper on the walls. It's going to have a massive king size bed for the boy boys. And over here, we're going to get rid of this old wall and the old walk-in robe and make it a beautiful big ensuite. This is currently Brianna's room, but it's about to become the first part in Zoe's sanctuary. We're going to push this wall all the way back to that eve and give Zoe pretty much the biggest room in the house for the girls. Over this side, we're also going to be giving her an awesome little teenage retreat. We're going to knock this wall out and give her a nice space outside that she can share with her friends.
So we had this armada of trades pour in today and we just walked in there together as one big team, the rescue family, and smashed it. Smashing down walls, pulling down doors, pulling down ceilings, and I was like, it is on. We relocated the architrave outside. Take on the ground over Yeah. This is uh, Ryan and Sally's master bedroom. What was there before was a small ensuite and a small walk-in robe. We're going to move the robe into the entry, take all of this down and make it into one big ensuite. So what it does, it allows us to put in a freestanding bathtub, a proper double vanity, a bigger shower and a toilet. But it's, you just don't realise how much work we're doing until you get here. So this whole wall is having to be pulled down. A big part of our show is to repurpose things, and it includes the plants as well. Like, take everything from the front, and we're going to put it all out the back. Some of the plants are, have sentimental value to Ryan, so we wanted to make sure we kept anything that was really important to the family. Nick and his team from Landscapes WA are back for their fifth Man and Kim renovation, and his team have a big job ahead. Compared to what they had before, which was basically a shed, there's going to be, you know, a pool, a cabana. There's a sitting area over the back. There's the chook shed, the kids' play area still. Um, this area here is going to be a seating area that they can sit out and enjoy a little bit of sun. It's instead of having one area that they can use, it's going to be probably ten. Nick's been killing it and, you know, he's a great leader and his boys are very, very seasoned. They demolished that shed in about three seconds out the back. <laughs> yeah. They dug the hole pretty quickly. They're so organised out there. As it's looking at the moment, there's probably half a house in our skip bins. With demolition underway, the deliveries are coming thick and fast. Got a bit of an issue with these, uh, trying to put in these skylights. I don't know whether, uh, I don't know whether we're going to be able to do this. Why? We've got this major old Jarrah beam which, uh, which goes straight through the middle. We can't move that beam? No. This is a major problem in the sense I didn't know there was going to be a, a full-blown structural beam in the way. It's a, it's a major, major issue. Coming up, Matt's grand plan for the kitchen skylights are in jeopardy. We've got to put those skylights in. And an international cricketing star drops by. Hey, guys. Hey! Plus the Hoi Boys' emotional welcome home. Oh, 